हेलो व्यूवर्स टुडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज ऑन एन अनदर नेटवर्किंग डिवाइस कॉल्ड एज स्विच नाउ व्हाट इज अ स्विच इट इज अ नेटवर्किंग डिवाइस दैट ऑपरेट्स ऑन द डेटा लिंक लेयर ऑफ द ओएसआई मॉडल ई से स्विच इज अ लेयर टू डिवाइस ओके इट ऑपरेट्स ऑन द डेटा लिंक लेयर ऑफ द ओ मॉडल and it is used to connect devices in a network so here previously also we have seen that hub is used to connect devices in a network even here we are going to see switch which is a networking device and that can be used to connect devices in a network actually this switch is what it is a replacement the the combined features of hub and free hub and bridge okay the combined features of hub and bridge can be found in a networking device called as switch fine now it can be used to connect devices in a network in order to make one lan you require what the different systems to get connected suppose if you are using a switch here and also switches with 8 ports switches with 16 24 32 and higher are available so let us take for example there are 8 ports here you can connect different types of devices suppose here you are using pcs then you can connect to the laptop here fine you can connect your mobile phone so different types of devices can be connected in a lan even you can connect printer and other devices which you want to include in the network so here we have seen that these are the different devices that are connected to the switch and moreover what is the point i told you is the combined features of the bridge and hub can be found in the switch so now this switch also is using the mac table to forward a packet so what does the mac table consist of now let us name the devices it uses a table which is going to store the information about all the machines and to which port are they connected with so what will be the column headings the column headings will be here one will be the what the mac address of all these machines and the other column will be the port number this switch will include the different machines that are connected to it m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 m6 m7 and m8 now what about the port numbers so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 i'll give for this and 8 fine now you can uh, write the port numbers here in the table <coughs> so a machine m1 is connected to port 3 machine m2 is connected to port 1 a machine m3 is connected to port 2 so this kind of table is called as content accessible memory table and this is the table that is used by the switch in order to forward a packet now suppose if <coughs> any uh, machine like for example m2 wants to send the data or information to m7 then the switch is going to send that data to the intended recipient only type of transmission is unicast that is one to one machine m2 wants to send to m7 one to one so it will forward the data to m7 so it will refer this table and it will see that m7 is connected to port number 7 it will send that data only to port number 7 so this type of network we call it as lan local area network so when it receives the data frame from any of its port it examines the destination address and sends the frame to the corresponding port it can make unicast multicast and broadcast so all these three types of communications are possible here unicast one to one multicast one to many broadcast is one to all so if you look these features definitely we can say that switch is more intelligent compared to the hub it is going to send the packet to the intended recipient only and also it supports all these three types of communications one to one one to many one to all it can send only to the intended recipient or a group of recipients or to all the recipients in addition to this you can remember this point there is a smart switch existing which can be used as a layer 3 device so whenever we use the word smart or intelligent it means that particular device is possessing more number of features which are very much required for the effective communication in the network so this is all about the switch hope you find this session useful if you find it useful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye and take care